3406. Hello again, another quick video for the Quantsync TK11. Something that might make your life easier. It's a converter for the CSV files with frequencies that now the new version of the CPS 2.6 and 2.7 can import. A lot of us have those frequencies in Chirp. A well-known program. If you search my channel, you will find a big guide of how to use Chirp. Uh, what I believe every radio enthusiast or ham radio operator should know. So a lot of us have their frequency database in Chirp. The new versions of the CPS of TK11 can now import CSV files, but those CSV files are formatted in a different style than the ones from Chirp. So I made a converter to help all of us to pass quickly and easily those frequencies from Chirp to TK11 until at least there is official support from Chirp for the TK11, which it will be at some point, I hope. Let's check it out. Alright, you will find this converter in GitHub. It's a Python script actually. So you have to have installed Python in your system. You can search online on how to do this. It's not hard. And then you can go to GitHub to the address that you will find in the description of the video and download the script. Now I have to say, please read the readme file that is online in this repository. It might answer some questions that you might have. The script that is necessary to download is this one, convert chip to tk11.py. It's a Python script, as I said. Let's download it to our desktop. Okay. Here it is. And let's have a quick look. Okay, the only thing that you need to know is that the file that you will need in order to convert your chip frequencies to TK11 CSV compatible file frequencies is an export from chirp that you will name with this name in chirp.csv and place it in the same directory as the Python script. As I said in the beginning, you must have Python installed in your system. Nothing else to change or see here in the script. Before seeing how it works, let's have a look at the chirp file that I have exported from my database. As you can see, it's a CSV file. It has frequencies, PMR frequencies and GMRS frequencies inside. Some tones, offsets, various things. Now, all you have to do is, depending on your system, if it's on Windows or if it's in Linux, you will know what to do. Right now, all you have to do in Windows, double-click the script file, and that's it. You will see that it will generate three new files that are called outtk11 with a name after that. That is because I had to overcome a problem of various regional settings and locale settings in various systems. Some users complained that the conversion didn't work and they couldn't import those files generated by the script in TK11 CPS. So I had to make some changes. As I say in the readme file, maybe you will have to try both three files that are created from the script to find the one that works for you. I believe that it won't be necessary and the first file, this one, out TK11 locale.csv will be the one that will work for you. Let's have a look how it is inside. As you can see, it has converted the CSV file in another type with some quotes and other conversions I had to make. Also, there are some assumptions that I had to make for the conversion, like putting output power to middle for all channels, scan list to one for all channels, and squelch to three for all channels. You will change that later in the CPS yourself. Now, if I open TK11 CPS and go to Tool, Import Channel CSV, and select as I said, try first this one, outtk11 locale csv. As you can see, it successfully imported all the channels. As they should be. From this point on, you can upload those memories to your Quantsync TK11. And also, don't forget to save them as a .dat file for safekeeping. So that was it. An easy way to pass your frequencies from chirp to TK11 CPS. Thank you for watching. See you next time.